Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be taking a look at this. This is the How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, Astrid and Stormfly figure by Spin Master. Now, recently I haven't really been a fan of Spin Master's How to Train Your Dragon stuff because, well, as you can see, they look a little bit cartoony. They don't look as realistic as like what the dragon toys do from the first How to Train Your Dragon film. From all the way back in 2010. God, those toys are 10 years old. But anyway, this one was in B&M. It was an offer for a fiver because they had tons of them and they needed to get rid of them. So I was just like, for a fiver, I might as well grab it and take a look at it. So, I bought this the other day, which is why I haven't unboxed it. Any figures that I have for more than a couple of weeks, I tend to unbox so I can play with them and then I'll just do a review of them uh, out of the box. But this time, since I only got this the other day, we can take a look at the actual box itself. So, uh, open window design so you can look at the figure, so I'll get a feel for what it does. And make sure everything's there, which it should be because the dragon is really the only bit that's out, that's exposed. The Everything else is sort of wrapped up. Uh, the human figure is sort of exposed as well, but oh well. Uh, so the front we have the Hidden World logo and Toothless with all his glowy uh, parts from the Hidden World. And there we go. On the sides. On the other side. On the back we just get an, um, quite a nice render of the figure. Oh, this is like a CG model of it rather than a photo of the figure. And we got all the legal mumbo jumbo and more legal legal mumbo jumbo on the back. And basically just saying warning don't eat anything. So yeah, that is the figures in the box. So I shall now free them so we can get a proper look at them. I might have to do this off camera because I am reaching around quite a lot. So I'm just going to do it off camera. Uh, I'm actually planning on... If it works out, I'm actually planning on making two videos this week. One of them is obviously going to be this one, which I'm filming right now and will be uploaded tonight because it is Wednesday and Wednesday is upload day <coughs> excuse me and the other one uh, I'm all I'm likely to film on Friday I'll also upload it on Friday or I might upload it Saturday or Sunday or I might upload it next week no change my mind we're not gonna have two videos this week but I'm gonna film another video at some point this week and then I'll upload it next week as sort of like a little update on life thing because stuff is happening which means I might not be able to do videos for a bit so if I just pan the camera down a little bit this makes the camera a bit more tippy panning it down like this but okay I'll just try not to wobble the table as much so here we are, everything is out. Oh, never mind the camera falling over, the dragon's falling over. So anyway, we have a little missile for the dragon. I'm not right bothered about the missiles when it comes to these figures. I'm more in it for the dragon itself. But anyway, we've got a projectile. We also have Astrid's double-headed axe. Speaking of Astrid, here she is in her... Uh, dragon scale armor. Actually, the top horn's been bent. Uh, pretty nice figure, actually. The detail on it is really nice. Yeah, not really much paint on it. It's mostly blue plastic, and then the yellow is the paint. So, but oh well. For articulation, there is nothing in the head. I thought there would be. Uh, arms can do full 360. They can't go out, they literally just go forward and back. Uh, legs, can the legs move? Legs can move slightly, but I, they don't feel like they actually want to. So I'm not going to move the legs that much. Let's give her her axe. Ooh. 
very bendy axe. So there we go. She can hold her axe. Can she stand up with it? Yes, she can. So I'll move that to the back over there. You're not going to stand up with it now, are you? There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's put her a bit more in the middle. No, no she doesn't really want to stand up. Okay, moving on to Stormfly, which is the uh, you know the main attraction for this set of the dragons. She looks goofy as hell. I'm not really a fan of what they've done with the head because it's too oversized, I think. The rest of it looks fine, but the head just looks too oversized. It just looks goofy. I don't like it. But anyway, detailing-wise, detailing's pretty... Uh, detailing's alright. I've seen much better detailed How to Train Your Dragon figures, though. <clears throat> like the ones released for the first film. Tail's nice. They've got the tail held perfectly. The, the tail's actually perfect for how Deadly Nows hold their tails, because they're very proud dragons. Not much in the way of articulation. You can move... You can flap the wings... But they sort of ratchet at certain points. You can have it like all the way down, there, 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 and all the way up. So yeah, they do ratchet into place. But that's still alright. I think that one looks best. Because then you can have a balancing on her wings as well. And she's got the little saddle. Which, since Astrid's legs don't really want to move, I'm not going to say Astrid can sit on this. But anyway, the gimmick comes from pulling the legs back. The mouth opens more, a little tiny bit. Because pulling the leg back is how you fire the projectile. So you lock it into place, pull the legs back, and the projectile fires out. It's not that powerful. I still obviously don't aim it at eyes. But it's not going to hurt if you aim it anywhere else on your body. Um, but yeah, that's all I can really say about this figure. It is very basic. Um, kids will love it for those that do like um, projectile toys. I am not that fussed about it. Also, my figure has a lot of loose plastic in its mouth, as you can see just there. Where are the scissors? Yeah, you can see just here. There's quite a bit of loose plastic in the mouth. So I'm going to see if I can get rid of that once the video's done. Because I've just put my finger in there and it feels horrible. That little plastic shreds. I'm sure a pair of scissors will get them. But yeah. Um, I think retail price on these originally was either £15 or £20. I'm tempted to say more £15. So... Uh, for £15, I would not recommend this. But for the £5 that they are now going for at Home Bargains, because they have way too many of them, I need to get rid of them. Yeah, I would say for a fiver, go grab one of these. If you don't like it, you can just donate it to a charity shop and they'll sell it for you. So, yeah, that was that. Is Astrid, excuse me, I seem to have hiccups. There we go, we can use Astrid's axe to help her balance up against Stormfly. So, anyway, there we have it. That was my review of the How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, Astrid and Stormfly figure. Uh, for figures. Uh, they have released some new How to Train Your Dragon stuff, but it's not in any of the movie lines. It's literally just DreamWorks Dragons as a whole. So they might have some dragons that aren't necessarily in the films. Or maybe even the TV show. They might have just made up some new dragon species. Uh, but I'm going to wait for those to go down in price. Because they are, once again, quite expensive for what they are. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I shall see all you guys in the next video. Whatever that'll be. Bye!